morning guys today is wednesday and i have taken a day off from work just so i could spend some time relaxing as well as catch up on some of the chores that i have been putting out for the past few weeks today first on the agenda is to hit the gym and later collect the shoe racks from ikea and finally plan trips for 2023 i'm also planning to potentially bake some nutella and blueberry twists i have been craving sugar a lot lately so i hope this would make me satisfied. Anyways, let's get going. straight to ikea for my show racks we are still thinking on whether to get one or two as you can see here we have already three shoe stamps but still not enough we have extra shoes hanging around in the house and we would really love to keep it in the shoe rack we got this one from amazon that from ikea and um, this was here once we moved in this comes with a coat hanger which is quite handy but still we are planning to actually get Two more of them and two more of the ikea shoe racks and actually stack them up let's do a quick fit check wearing this sweater from make it fashion this got fluffy white coat from make it fashion as well leather pants from mango and my shoes are from new balance <laughs> we have just arrived in ikea with my coffee let's go in did put up the shoe stand i was not sure if i should actually stack them up or leave one out as a separate stand do let me know what do you guys think about it in the comments it's a bit later in the evening now and i was planning to bake some blueberry and nutella twist nutella is obviously for me and blueberry is for emmanuel as he can't have uh, nutella as he's allergic to nuts i was doing but i also want to take you guys along with my travel plans for 2023 so let's get started If any of you follow me on Instagram, you would already be aware that I love traveling to new countries and exploring their food and culture. It was one of my goals in 2020 to travel as much as possible. And I did visit Austria, Italy, Bulgaria and India, my family is. This year, I'm thinking to plan ahead. As an Indian, traveling in Europe is quite expensive as I need to apply for Schengen visas each time I visit a new country. So yeah, I want to save some bucks in 2023. So yeah, plan ahead is the best way to do it. Let's get started on 2023. But before I dive into it, I'm a person who would like to organize and plan things ahead. And I do use Notion for both personal and work purposes. Here I have created an ocean template for my travel plans for 2023 and shared it with Emmanuel so we can be in sync with our plans as well. Looking at my ocean template, first we have a table where we could both enter our destinations that we want to visit in the next year. I have tried to 
divide my list into Schengen and visa-free countries. I have Iceland, Spain, Italy, Tunisia, Serbia, Turkey, India, and somewhere in the UK, which I haven't made up my mind about. When scrolling down, we could see our bucket list activities to do in the next year. Mine includes surfing, windsurfing, hiking, Iceland road trip, northern lights, and camel ride. And finally, we have a view on this table to look at the status of each trip planned. I would say this is still a work in progress, but a great way to track your holidays. I had to change my spot as Emmanuel started watching football and the apartment was getting quite noisy. Anyways, we were planning to visit a total of three to six countries based on our budget constraints as well as holidays available at work. Uh, as you have seen from my dashboard, we have booked our trip for Iceland in 2023. It's been on my bucket list forever and I can't believe that I'm going to take it off in 2023. We are going to visit Iceland in May. I don't want to jinx it, but hopefully it's, it's going to be a good weather. On the other hand, we have also confirmed but not booked our trips for Italy and Spain. Um, we will be visiting Italy for sure in June as we have a Coldplay concert in Milano. So excited for that as well. And Spain is always a country that I wanted to visit in 2022 but I was not able to. I've heard a lot of people in the UK actually hype about Spain and moving to Spain so I do want to go visit Barcelona, Madrid and so on. So yeah, that is our plans confirmed and booked at the moment for 2023. I do want to add a few visa free countries to this list as each Schengen visa costs me £150 every time I apply so I don't want to save some money this time. Anyways, that was my travel plans for next year. I hope I did not make it into a travel planning vlog and hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Do let me know where you all are planning to visit in 2023 and it's time to end the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it and see you guys next week. Bye! You rate the pizza.